guys, welcome back to Just Talking, where I talk how you need sometimes listen. So in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the future of two roller coasters at Blackpool Pleasure Beach in Icon and Grand National. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And let's get into the first of two roller coasters, which is Icon. And the main speculation is that the back coaster train for Icon will be converted into a spinning one. So let's look at the trailer, or more should I say, sneak peek that was posted on the official Blackpool Pleasure Beach Twitter. So let's of course dive into what this trailer might mean. Of course, so let's just explore what ENSO means, which is the name of the new experience which will be on ICOM. So of course, ENSO means as a Buddhist symbol, togetherness, strength and enlightenment. And of course, enlightenment is basically where a person during their religious life will achieve true satisfaction before death and will not have to rectify any of their wrongdoings or have to repeat their life again. And of course, that does relate to the idea of the circle of life. And of course, circles are continuous or infinite. So that, of course, insinuates that there will be something that spins or goes around in a circle. And, of course, that completely outlines, um, you know, and crosses out any sort of idea that they could be bringing the sort of blind faith idea, which is basically what they did in the Journey to Hell Frank Nights, where they blind the rider. Um, that is just completely out of the picture now because, of course, that is not continuous necessarily in, in a circular motion. So, of course, that is completely outlined. And also, strength, that could, you know, sort of imply that it will take some balls of steel to be able to go on to this train car because of course having it launch and be at the back where there is quite a lot of force and then also add in the spinning element throughout probably the full ride because it's quite hard to control just one car um, and not have it sort of intersect with the rest of them and it would cost a lot more so you know of course that is you know sort of thing that's a marketing strategy I suppose in a way if you do research into it that it will be quite an intense experience and that's what they're going for particularly on the junior Rimmelman if they do include a spin then of course that is going to be a whole other world of intense after adding in that element but of course for those of you who don't know Mac Rides was a p the manufacturing company that actually made Icon and was part of the designing process for it and they do also manufacture spinning courses and they are actually quite popular and a lot of you know these spinning courses have been built in recent years um and I do think that they will be pretty interested in going back to Icon, which is probably one of their most successful projects and probably one of the most profound ones that a lot of people know about, although not everybody likes it, as I've found out. But of course, I'm sure they would want to dip their toes into a sort of multimedia style coaster with a spinning car at the back because, you know, they are experimenting with a lot of different ideas as well at the moment, as you will find from going on their website. But also, it does say Icon with a twist which is basically a massive screaming clue that the back train on Icon will, will the train car will be turned into a spinning one because what else is a twist? Um, and that's not insinuating that there's going to be a blind faith element where you're blindfolded because, you know, although that is a surprise, but you're going on the ride for the element and it's obviously cluing that there will, of course, be that train car. Although, when you actually say it out loud, out loud this idea it does sound pretty impossible because of course that back car is linked up to the one in front relatively closely and that does sound like a bit of a tight squeeze and they might have to change the train capacity and then that would impact capacity as a whole and potentially knock off icon as a whole really because the queues would go up when they already do achieve pretty high queues anyway but of course the back train car is actually used for people that are taller, it does actually have bigger seats at the back and also for people who might, you know, be a, a bit wider as well. So either they will be moved to the car in front or they will be stuck with the spinning one at the back. But I'm not too sure if it's optional or if only one train will do this and you can opt into it or opt out. Um, 
I do think that they should have one train that is just fully, you know, static and then one that spins because, of course, it will create some issues with people not want to, wanting to go on and then that creates a whole other capacity battle on the ride. But then, of course, you have Grand National and here's a quick brief of what's been announced and what's happened with Grand National. Exactly. Absolutely nothing has happened. All it has been is closed. And um, when I went for late night riding on the 30th, absolutely nothing with it. No one touched Grand National. There wasn't any maintenance staff members on any part of it, not even on the track or the grounds around it. No one touched Grand National and no one really paid any attention to it after that point. But of course, the Twitter for Blackpool Pleasure Beach and also their Instagram have been completely silent, unlike with the new Icon experience, um, which is usually quite peculiar because they are very engaged in the park. Um, of course, Amanda Thompson, the managing director, she is very excited about every project and wants to speak about it. And of course, that has created some fears for me because this was exactly what happened with Mo Wild Mouse, where it was closed for like maintenance and things, and then it never reopened. Um, so that's kind of created a little bit of a fear, but I know they wouldn't just get rid of it because it's an iconic coaster. People queue up for it every single time it's open. Although this year it has had some maintenance issues. But of course, this has meant that the internet has basically spiralled into two main rumours and People are very divided on each one, but I think I have a definitive answer on what the future is. So, of course, most people are saying that it will be an RMC conversion now, but, of course, I have used a picture of Iron Gwazi, which would have opened at, um, you know, the um, Bush Gardens Tampa theme park over in America, but, of course, has not, and I will go into that in a minute. And, of course, RMC, for those of you who don't know, is actually not a type of roller coaster. It's actually a manufacturing company, which is Rocky Mountain Construction. And they, of course, convert wooden roller coasters into metal ones that can have inversions and get to higher speeds. They're basically a more intense um, wooden roller coaster, and they follow the same sort of structure with the railroad track style of track as well. Um, and then, of course, the other people want to, you know, have it maintained and, you know, have a retrack and obviously redo the chain lift. That's the main issue they've actually been having. Um, these issues with the chain lift, um, you know, like not working properly and people getting stuck up there. Um, it's happened two out of three times I've been um, this year. And of course, it's not a great thing to have it stuck up there. But luckily, the maintenance team is very good. And I do believe they could get a nice, decent retract turnaround this off season. But, you know, it, you know, they do get it back up and running on the day, maybe an hour after or an hour or two. Um, but, you know, I do believe that that's probably the more probable one. I would completely outline the RMC conversion. And this is where I'm going to get into why I use Iron Gwazi for this. Of course, this roller coaster has been opening for the past 600 years. It's meant to be the best RMC coaster out there with tons of inversions, the tallest one, and you know, it goes super fast and has all these cool inversions, but when you look at the plot of land it's on, it has zero theming, and also they can never seem to get it open. It might open for a little bit and then close completely, and you won't hear anything about it. And of course, they have released POVs for it. They do have hope for it, but the thing is it requires a lot of land, a lot of money, and you know, they just don't have that with Grand National. On the space it's in, and you know, if you wanted to use the space for the station, you know, you wouldn't have that much of a roller coaster in there unless they found some miraculous way of spending so much money on squeezing it into that compact space. I've seen them do the compact space manoeuvre before with things like Icon and the big one, but you know, I don't think an RMC could really fit in there, and I don't think that maybe the Pleasure Beach has enough money to maintain something as big as that because, of course, they do cost a lot of money, these RMC conversions, not only to get rid of the previous wooden roller coaster, but also to get all of that steel in and then intertwine it with everything else. And not to mention, they have a lot of supports in them because, of course, with the track design, they do need a lot of supports that kind of 
go upwards and then down and then they need all intertwining support similar to a wooden roller coaster but all made out of pure steel and metal so it is very expensive and of course maintaining the coaster and retracking it would be a lot cheaper save them a lot of money and also it would maintain a lot of the history of the park which I wouldn't mind and I am pretty partial to Grand National Um, I feel like if I was gonna go and do an RMC I would do it over in America because they are normally bigger, they have more space to do them, but in this park it doesn't seem very suitable to have that in there. And it doesn't really fit the brand either, you know. They're very much a family park and strive to stay that way. Even Icon was trying to be intense, but not too intense. So I do believe that they're going to try keep their image and just stay away from that side of the very expensive, thrilling conversions. And yeah, that's really it for this video. I do hope that you feel alright with sharing your opinions in the comments about what you think the future of these two courses are. It's just in the past few weeks there has been a lot of announcements over things that, have been, that, that are going to change. And you know, there's been a lot of ride closures to do with Grand National. And I'd like to see your opinion. I'm also sorry for not uploading this week. I have been ill. But also, you know, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I very much enjoyed researching for it and making it. And of course, yeah, that's really it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, this was just talking. Bye-bye.